Japan is home to about 650 professional sumo wrestlers, or Dikshi. One Dikshi in particular has caught the eye of many sumo fans. He is the first Arab Dikshi. His professional name is Osuna Arashi, or Great Sandstorm. His coach is Stablemaster Otake. He's Otake's first apprentice from overseas. It's been one year since Osuna Arashi began his apprenticeship in a country whose culture differs completely from his own. We followed a 20-year-old Egyptian Nikshi, hoping to succeed in the world of sumo. <laughs> we began filming Osuna Rashi, who is nicknamed Booty, just weeks after he arrived in Japan. He breezes through his physical thanks to his powerful physique. But how would this newcomer fare in the traditional world of sumo? We tracked his every step. Sumo is Japan's national sport. Two dikshi face off in a ring measuring 4.55 meters across. Each taps the sand-covered surface before charging his opponent. The first dikshi to be forced out of the ring or touch the ground loses. Ninety minutes by car from Egypt's capital is the city of Mansoura. This is where Osuna Rashi grew up. He was 15 years old when an Egyptian coach noticed his impressive build. In all of Egypt, only about 50 people practice sumo. Training facilities are limited. But that didn't stop the young Egyptian from getting hooked. On the west for he advanced quickly and finished third at the Junior Sumo World Championships a year after taking up the sport. Osuna Arashi went to Japan shouldering the hopes of the Arab world. He entered the Otake Sumo Stable. Dikshi here get up at 6 a.m. and immediately begin training. They practice hard for more than three hours every day. For Osuna Rashi, being in a Japanese sumo ring is a dream come true. In the beginning, of course, the first time I played sumo was not that I liked it. يعني لو لعبة لعبة غريبة اثنين بيزقوا في بعض لعبة معتمدة على القوة مش ما فيهاش يعني أنا عجبني التكنيك بتاعه عجبني اللي حسيت إن اللعبة فيها 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 سكرت هو هذا بقوله سمو جا دايسكي إيش بان دايسكي While in Egypt, Osuna Arashi tirelessly sent email inquiries about an apprenticeship to sumo stables in Japan. Otake was the first to reply. Otake was concerned about differences in language and culture, but he decided to accept the young Egyptian. この質問に対する気持ちがものすごい熱いものがあって、もう私はもう質問しかありませんと、もう私の家はどうようですというぐらいの気持ちでね、あの語ってましたね。
なんかものすごく心を打たれて、まあ、そこまで熱心にそのことを思っているのであればあまあ前向きで考えましょうかと The young Rikshi is finally in Japan but the culture has proved challenging from the start Osuna Arashi is Muslim His religious beliefs limit what he can eat and drink And every year he observes a daytime fast for about a month during Ramadan Osuna Arashi shares a room with six other Rikshi His only personal space is his futon mattress. He prays five times a day during training breaks. My mom doesn't. She's a present from my mother. Yeah, I have. I let you know, ma. Not such a hard day. يعني انت هتكون هناك هناك لوحدك ف عشان تل... لو يعني لو عايز تنجح بجد يبقى العلاقه اللي بتبقى بينك وبين ربنا تبقى كويسه العلاقه بينك وبين ربنا كويسه هوفقك في كل حاجه The Grand Sumo Tournament is held every two months, six times a year. It's now March, four months after Osuna Arashi arrived in Japan. He'll compete in front of spectators for the first time. It's a debut match for Rikshi who have yet to be ranked. How will Osuna Arashi fare? His opponent achieved high marks at a national inter high school tournament. Osuna Arashi wins a brilliant debut. Oh, good, you got it. Eh? It's a bad thing. 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 Osuna Arashi isn't the only new apprentice at the stable. Gin Seizan made his debut on the same day. Hours after the newcomers completed their first matches, their stable master gives them a task. He tells them to perform 200 rounds of Shiko, a basic routine in sumo training. Raising and stomping alternate legs from a squat may look simple, but the Rikshi tire quickly and they break out in a sweat. A rikshi with a strong lower body can plant himself firmly on the ground, making it harder to get pushed out of the ring. One out of ten rikshi rise high enough in the rankings to be considered true professionals. Basic training is critical for success. That's what Otake wants the two young rikshi to understand. After the March tournament, Osuna Arashi has good news. He's been listed in the official rankings for the first time. He was Hakuho. As I think, yeah. Right? This is Hakuho. One day I'll be here. This is the name of the Yukuzuna. So one day, inshallah, I'll be here. Now I'm here. You look, look at the difference between the uh, where are they? Uh, yeah, here. Osuna Arashi. Here it's Egypt. You know, I'm so happy because of, because of only one thing. It's Egypt. It's like, you know, I'm really proud of, of this word. <laughs> Newer Dikshi are expected to be the first to tackle chores as well as train. Cleaning, doing laundry and preparing meals for the stable's 10 residents takes even more time than the workout. What's more, new apprentices can't leave the stable without permission. 
السومو في مصر اللي هو يعني مش مش نفس السومو هنا في اليابان يعني انت مثلا السومو في اللي هو على قد التمرين وخلاص لكن هنا انت كل حاجه في سومو يعني انت كسومو سون او كريك كلاعب سومو ده لك لك كل حاجه معينه Displayed on one of the stable's walls are five principles that every dikshi should embody. They include gratitude and humility. Stable master Otake believes these principles are necessary for becoming a true sumo rikshi. His views are colored by regrets over his own career. Otake was a dikshi for 21 years. He says back then he was far from humble. Otake's realization came when he retired from sumo. He was to undergo an important ceremony to cut off his top knot. In the next tournament, Osunara she competes in the Jono Kuchi division, the lowest in professional sumo. He becomes the division champion by sweeping all seven matches. The first Arab Dikshi success draws a lot of attention. With Osuna Arashi's triumph, everything seems to be going his way. But his focus on sumo appears to weaken. One day after training, Osuna Arashi tells Otake he wants to go out. Nine months into his apprenticeship, Osuna Arashi is finding it hard to adjust to life in Japan. He feels lonely. It's now July 1st. The trainees at the Otake stable are gearing up for the next tournament, which begins in one week. <laughs> this is Butsukari Geiko, or impact training. Adikshi plows into his partner again and again. This strengthens the body and builds stamina. Otake senses that Osuna Arashi dislikes impact training. <laughs> That night, Otake takes Osuna Arashi and Gin Seizan to a neighborhood restaurant <laughs> to build a sumo sized body one must eat. This is another aspect of life as a rikshi. 
Since joining Otake Stable, the two apprentices have each gained more than 10 kilograms. Ginsei is on orders more food. Osunahara she follows not to be outdone. The reason for the dinner out is that Otake wants the rikshi to rethink their attitude toward training. はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
Osunarashi's expression conveys joy, but he's under orders from his doctor to rest when he's not competing. Later that day, Gin Seizan does extra rounds of Shiko to improve his chances of winning. The following day, Osuna Arashi appears for his second match. He wins this time by Yorikiri, or frontal force out. But when Otake returns to the stable, he looks unhappy. あの、あの、this is a replay of the match. It was decided when the other Dixie's foot went beyond the straw bales marking the boundary. Otake is upset that Osunarashi gave a final push just as his opponent was about to go down. <laughs> ね、もう終わり。はい。ね。あの、私。違うよ。そんなことはどうだっていいんだよ。素直に、はい、すいません。じゃないのはい。ね。素直でしょ。俺、素直でしょ。素直、謙虚な気持ち。はい。いい、わ
زودت زودت زياده على الماتش يعني هو كان انا كسبت الماتش وضربته في في النهايه Osuna Arashi doesn't seem completely convinced. Can he really learn from this experience? Osuna Arashi enters the ring for his last match of the tournament. Once it's over, Osuna Arashi is seen reaching out to his defeated opponent. He ends the tournament with more wins than losses. It's been about a year since Osuna Arashi came to Japan. In September, Osuna Arashi moves up to the Sandan Mei division. He's among the favorites to take top honors in this class. Osuna Arashi can't use his hallmark thrusts. His opponent charges from below and pushes him out. The other Dikshi takes advantage of Osuna Arashi's weakness, standing too upright. It's Osuna Arashi's first loss, aside from when he was ill. Okay. いいね。勝ち負けいい。ね、勝ち負けいい。さあ、全部勝ったら、みんな上がっちゃうよ。ただな、これでまあ、行ったよな。中心に。あんた、こうやって行くから、こう取られるよって。はい。こう取られたな。